Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah as we talked about countless times the importance of mannerisms and adab and we talked about how that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, that there's adab with Allah Azza wa Jal, there's adab with the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by reading it and reflecting upon it. And the adab with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that you worship Him and Him alone. Likewise, the adab of how we interact with one another and the adab of following the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. All of this is a part of the adab of the mu'mineen. And in a beautiful hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I believe it's a hadith of Abi Dhar, and I believe you'll find it in Tirmidhi, in which, as it was related, su'ila Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, su'ila Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, an akthari ma yudkhal al-nas al-jannah. <coughs> The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked, Su'ila, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So the Prophet Sallallahu was asked, uh, on what is the thing that blesses, that, that allows for the people to enter paradise the most? What will cause the people to dice the most? The Prophet ﷺ responded, "Su'ila Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam What will make allow the people to enter the paradise the most? You know, what is the thing that's going to uh, bring the people into paradise the most?" Qal, he said, "Sallallahu alaihi wasallam, attaqullah wa husnu khulq." So the Prophet ﷺ, he responded by saying, fearing Allah and good manners. And then the Messenger ﷺ was asked about what is the thing that will cause the people to enter the hellfire the most. And he said, the mouth and the private parts. This hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa la alihi wa sallam as we know is, is immense in its import ahabatifillah and we've got to reflect we've got to take time we've got to analyze this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and try to uh, benefit from this hadith Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, our beloved Prophet was asked, as we mentioned, su'ila Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam an akthiri ma yudkhil al-nas al-jannah qala taqullah wa husn al-khulq. Wa su'ila an akthiri ma yudkhil al-nas al-nar qala al-thim wa faraj. So, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asked about the thing that will cause the people <clears throat> to enter into the uh, paradise the most. Why do I love Washington State? This is why. <laughs> he said, fearing, he said, he said, fear Allah and have good manners. When we analyze this part of the hadith of Rasulullah, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam We see that For our success in this life As well as the hereafter Allahu Akbar It comes By fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And it's so easy for me to mention fearing Allah We've heard it, how, how many times do you hear in the khutbah? How many times do we hear it? But how many of us really practice taqwallah? How many of us practice fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? 
So the Prophet Sallallahu said that that was the key. That's the, the means for us to get to paradise. You know? Taqwallah wa husnul khulq. Fearing Allah and having good manners. Again, don't be afraid of, of manners. Don't be afraid to have righteous conduct. This is what Eliza Wajel has called us to do. He said, and then, uh, and then he was asked, meaning the Prophet ﷺ was asked, what is the thing the people to uh, enter the fire the most? He said, al fim wal faraj. He said, the, the mouth and the private parts. Most of our sins emanate from that. Look at it as youth. Not as just as youth, as youth especially, but as elders as well. Think about your sins. A lot of our sins pertaining to the mouth. Backbiting, slander, lying, lying on the law, cursing people, uh, making tip D of people unlawfully, making tip fear of people without warrant and without the conditions to do so, cursing. Speaking evil conduct, using the language of the devils, seher, witchcraft on our tongues, shirkiyat, al father shirkiyat, you know, uh, mentioning statements of shirk and disbelief. And think about all the sins that we do with the private parts. Akramakum Allah, masturbation, uh, 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 zina, adultery, fornication, homosexuality, lesbianism, all of these things, they come from the shahwat, and they come from often, uh, obviously, using the private parts, especially Akramakum Allah when it's full zina or what have you. So we see, as the Messenger وسلم, mentioned in, in other ahadith, that if you can safeguard those things, if you can safeguard your tongue, if you can safeguard your private parts, that you'll have success. And that those things are also a part of your destruction. That if you don't, that you will, that, that's your destruction. That will be your demise and your downfall is that if you are speaking evil, if you're lying, if you're cheating, uh, which are, are sins of the tongue, if you're expressing hatred and racism, which are often sins of the tongue, then this can be a part of your nar, your hellfire. This is the tariq, tariq, the path and nar of the hellfire. And we know how the private parts can take us to Jahannam. And so we ask Allah the Almighty to help us safeguard our tongues, to help us safeguard our private parts, to keep us on halal. And I advise myself and my brothers and sisters, especially the youth, especially those who are unmarried, that you should, uh, you should marry if it a uh, fitna. Because you don't want to fall into zina. And I know some of the brothers have difficulty finding good wives. And I know some of the sisters have difficulty finding good husbands. But do everything possible. Don't just sit and be quiet and not alert the community. And not if you have to even go to lawful websites or let your families know. Or if you're a revert and you have none of that, then you've got to make the necessary proper and lawful means to protect yourself. Save yourself. Ittaqullah mustata'atum. Fear Allah as much as you as you can. What we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to sect our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.